The fool says in his heart, there is no God. No matter how you look at our world, you will recognize the order. When you look at the times and seasons, the winter, the summer, the heat time, the rainy season, the autumn, you will understand there is an intelligence behind creation. When a woman is pregnant, how does the child grow? And when we are born, we live continuously. The law of gravity does not stop. When people die, we don't know what happens. All this shows you and I that there is an intelligent being, the almighty God behind our lives. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the God of the heavens and the earth, the Father of all flesh, the creator of the universe, your God, my God, your Father, my Father, put a word in my mouth this morning and sent me to you to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. This morning, I pray that God will show you the spirit of, he will give you the spirit of understanding to understand and to know. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. May you receive understanding this morning to know. May the power to change things and conditions of life come upon you. May the power to create be renewed in your life. May you go from strength to strength. May you conquer in the mighty name of Jesus. May your enemies surrender unto you. May you subdue kingdoms of wickedness. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. When you, when you look around you, you will see that God made the world and made it to be governed with laws. And these laws do not fail. The law of gravity says that anything that goes up must come down. That law cannot fail. You can't change it. There are a lot of laws. But to me, I look at the Bible and I want to clarify or classify these laws into two. The law of sin and death is the first law. And the second law is the law of the spirit of life. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. In John chapter 8 verse 32, the Bible says, You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You see, there is a reason and a need for you to know. What you know, you know. And that is why they say knowledge is power. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And one of the things you need to know, one of the truth you need to know is that you need to understand that there are basically, you know, two laws that governs our spiritual life. The law of sin and death and the law of the spirit of life. In the book of Romans chapter 8 from verse 1, the Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, when you receive him into your life as your Lord and Savior, there is no condemnation for you. There is now, therefore, no condemnation for to them who are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now, when he say after the flesh and after the spirit, he's telling us that there are two laws. There's the law of the flesh and there's the law of the spirit. The law of the flesh is the law of sin and death. The law of the spirit of life is the second law. In verse 2, it says, for the law of this, the law of this, of life the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the life. 
John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are, you are now free from the law of sin and death. The law of sin and death comes with failure. The law of sin and death comes with sickness. The law of sin and death comes with disease. The law of sin and death comes with unhappiness and sorrow. The law of sin and death comes with shame. The law of sin and death comes eventually with physical and spiritual death. You see, but the law of life, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus comes to us when we accept him as our Lord and Savior. You see, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he said, therefore, there is therefore now. No, he says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Why? There is a new law. We operate by a new law. We become somebody extraordinary. We are no longer ordinary. We are operating by another law. We are operating by another system. You see? We are free from the former law of sin and death. You are free from the law of sin and death. You are free from the law of sin and death. And if I repeat it, it's not going to be too much that you are free from the law of sin and death. The law of life. In Christ Jesus, the love, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made you free from the law of sin and death. When you accept him, you begin to operate under another law. Remember Colossians chapter 1 from verse 12 to 14. Verse 13 says, he has translated us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. God translated us from the kingdom of darkness. He took us from the law of sin and death, governed by the kingdom of darkness. He took us from the law of sin and death, governed by the kingdom of darkness. We have been translated or transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of Jesus, where we now operate by the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. When you recognize this, it is the truth that you need to know that is going to make you free, is going to set you free. When you know this truth, you're going to be free you're going to be free from sickness. You're going to be free from disease. You're going to be free from the works of, of the flesh. You're going to be free. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus sets us free because it is the truth. The important question this morning, have you giving your life to Jesus? Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? Are you born again? Have you accepted Jesus? John chapter 1 verse 12. As many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. You need that power to become. When you receive power, from him, he empowers you to become what you desire. As many as received Jesus, to them he gave power. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Have you given your life to him? 
this can be the best time to do that. And if you have done that, I want to congratulate you. We need to begin to operate. We need to begin to flow and, you know, and operate that law of the spirit of life. You need to begin to walk under the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. You need to understand that you are free from the law of sin and death. You need to understand that there, there, there is therefore now, 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 no condemnation unto you. Why? You are operating under the law of the spirit of life. And today, thank you for listening. This way I'm going to stop. Please send this to your friends and loved ones. Get them blessed. You are able to hear this because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. May God bless our partners. May God increase you left, right, and center. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. If you love this and you want me to send this directly to you, just save this number, plus 27740302381. Save that number right now. Send me this simple message. Add me from tomorrow. I'll begin to send it to you. Thank you once again for listening. And please once again rebroadcast this. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out today and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.